These six setups were used by the pro player Henry to win the Madden Bowl, giving him his seventh career belt and making him the first ever Madden millionaire. So today we're taking a deep dive into all six of his setups out of the Philadelphia Eagles playbook and going over the three key concepts that Henry used to take down the best pro players in the world so that we can break down exactly what goes on inside the mind of the greatest Madden player of all time. In the quarterfinals, Henry took on former belt winner Drini and after forcing a fumble with a perfectly timed hit stick in the second quarter, Henry was looking to put the pressure on Drini by taking a two-score lead. After getting down to the 15-yard line heading into the two-minute warning, Henry turned to setup number one. The play is double post and the formation gun bunch offset, and his adjustments were to put his running back on a wheel, put his middle bunch receiver on a hitch, put his outside bunch receiver on a post route, and motion him out, but you could also use a smart routed in route here if you don't have the ability hot route master. Now while the right side of this setup doesn't look like like particularly great spacing, Henry knows a secret about the zone logic in Madden 24 that he used to his advantage. Anytime there's an outside cornerback playing in an outside third or outside quarter zone, you can use a running back wheel route on that side to occupy the cornerback and help open up routes underneath. That's exactly what Henry did on this play, and with the cornerback staying inside to guard the wheel route, it left the C route wide open for the easy touchdown. But Drini wasn't about to just roll over, and after both competitors traded blows back and forth, in the third quarter, Henry needed a touchdown to keep himself two scores ahead. That's when on this second and 10 play, he showed off his mastery of key concept number one, which is freeform passing. Now we've talked about freeform passing before in previous breakdowns of Henry's games, but it's an extremely powerful powerful feature that every Madden player should be using. You can turn on freeform passing for yourself by going into your game options and changing your passing type to either placement and power or placement and accuracy. On the field, freeform passing can be activated by holding the left trigger or L2 while your quarterback is throwing the ball, and doing this allows you to lead your pass beyond the shaded ellipse around your receiver, which represents the area in which you can lead the ball if you don't freeform pass. Now on this second and 10 play, Henry's solo receiver is on a fade, and as the play develops, we can see that the fade beats his man defender, but there's still a safety sitting in a middle third. Henry is able to throw his receiver open with a freeform pass by holding the left trigger or L2 and moving his left stick all the way to the left, and that skillfully placed pass was just far enough outside that the safety couldn't make a play, and Henry walked into the end zone to once again take a two-score lead. Now jumping ahead to the fourth quarter, Henry held a six-point lead and just needed a field goal to most likely put the game out of reach. Needing to dial up a dot to get himself into field goal range, Henry turned to setup number two. The play is Y trail and the formation gun bunch strong nasty, and his adjustments were to put his outside bunch receiver on a flat route, put his middle bunch receiver on a drag, and block his running back. Henry's stellar route combo puts Drini's user in conflict by making him choose between guarding the receiver on the drag or guarding the tight end on the trail route. Drini decides to run with the drag, and Henry delivers a beam to the trail route over the middle to put himself on the edge of field goal range, and a few plays later, he kicked the ball through the uprights to give himself a 9-point lead. Drini tried his best to close the gap, but he just couldn't keep up, and Henry walked away with a 31-22 victory to send him on to the next round. In the semifinals, Henry Henry took on TJ, and once again he came out of the gates completely locked in, delivering a huge strike deep over the middle to get 7 points on his opening drive, and then holding TJ to a field goal to give himself an early 7-3 lead. Looking for another quick strike to widen his lead even more, Henry turned to setup number 3. The play is tight end in in the formation gun trips tight end offset, and his adjustments were to put his outside trips receiver on a fade, put his middle trips receiver on a flat route, and put his tight end on a post, but you could leave him on the deep in route if you don't have the ability hot route master. After the snap, Henry instantly recognizes that TJ is in a cover 2 shell based on the slow dropback of the outside cornerback and both safeties. Immediately knowing that one of the weakest points of any cover 2 shell is along the sidelines, Henry rifles the ball out to his receiver on the fade with a freeform pass to the outside. TJ's safety had no chance of making a play on the ball, and Henry's receiver had nothing but green grass in front of him as he sprinted to the end zone to 
take a 14 to three lead. But TJ is also one of the best Madden players in the world. And on his next drive, he methodically moved the ball down the field and punched it in to make it just a four point game. Henry responded by driving down the field himself and after running the ball to get down to the one inch line with just three seconds left in the first half, Henry showed us key concept number two, which is take your points. Now this is another concept that we've talked about with Henry before, but his willingness to take his points shows a level of discipline that few Madden players possess. He literally got booed for his decision to kick the field goal by other pro players who were in the live audience, but Henry knew that the very worst thing he could do would be to risk coming away with zero points on the drive. Henry's conservative decision immediately paid off at the start of the second half when he forced TJ into a turnover on downs, and a few plays later, this dot over the middle got him into the end zone once again to give him a commanding 14-point lead. TJ didn't let up though, and an early fourth quarter touchdown on this incredible throw on the run brought it back to a one-score game. Needing a clock-killing drive to put the game away, Henry turned to setup number four. The play is Vert's halfback under in the formation gun bunch offset, and his only adjustment was to put his running back on a flat route, but it could have also been a swing route if he didn't have Hot Route Master. This is one of the most popular plays in all of Madden, and after the snap, Henry immediately reads the combination of the crosser from his middle bunch receiver and the wheel route from his tight end. With TJ's user drawn away from the middle of the field by the running back, and with a defender playing over top the wheel route, Henry rips it to his receiver on the crosser to get himself on the cusp of field goal range. After showing some extremely smart clock management to run off as much time as possible, Henry knocks through one final field goal to send himself on to the championship game. In the Madden Bowl final, Henry took on Wesley in a game that seemed straight out of a movie script. Not only was this a rematch of the Madden Bowl final, Final from two years ago, but these were former roommates turned sworn enemies, and Wesley wanted nothing more than to get his redemption in front of a rowdy live crowd in Las Vegas. Just like in his other games, Henry showed on his very first drive why he's the greatest player in the world, and when he found himself facing a third and 20 in the first quarter, he turned to setup number five. The play is speed dig in the formation gun bunch offset, and his adjustments were to put his solo receiver on a streak, block his running back, put his tight end on a corner route, put his middle bunch receiver on a hot routed crosser in place of the stock crosser and motion out his outside bunch receiver. After the snap, Wesley was forced to guard the crosser with his user and that cleared out space over the middle of the field for Henry to deliver an absolute dime to his receiver on the dig to pick up the first down. Just a couple plays later, he finished off the drive with a touchdown to jump out to a lightning quick 7-0 lead. Now the entire game was a shootout, but one of the unique traits that defined Henry's passing game brings us to key concept number three, which is blue passing. Now what blue passing refers to is the discovery by pro Madden players that if you have your passing type set on placement and accuracy, then anytime you're throwing the ball and let go of the receiver icon when your power meter gets into the region between the two white solid lines, then your pass is guaranteed to have perfect accuracy even when you're on the run or if you have pressure in your face. Making sure his passes were blue as much as possible helped Henry keep up his high octane offense throughout the entire tournament. Now jumping ahead to late in the third quarter, this game turned into an absolute slugfest. After Wesley hit his tight end on this laser in the back of the end zone, on the second play of Henry's next drive, he dialed up setup number six. The play is X under in the formation gun trips tight end offset, and his adjustments were to put his outside trips receiver on a drag, put his middle trips receiver on a streak, block his running back, put his tight end on a corner route, and then motion snap his receiver on the streak. After the snap, the streak and corner route each occupied one of Wesley's deep blue zones, and Henry used a freeform pass to put the ball in the exact perfect spot to split the defenders and rumble all the way for the touchdown to end the third quarter. Wesley responded immediately with a 75-yard touchdown run, but then Henry answered with another touchdown drive of his own to put the pressure on Wesley to conduct a clock-killing money drive. After getting the ball to the edge of the red zone, Wesley found himself facing a 4th and 10 with just 48 seconds remaining. On the most important play of the entire season, Henry's defense came up in the clutch to force the interception and seal the game, allowing Henry to officially crown himself as the first ever Madden millionaire while also earning him the first ever Madden Bowl championship ring to permanently inscribe his name in Madden history. And if you guys want to see a breakdown of how Henry started off his historic season by winning a belt in the Madden Ultimate Kickoff Tournament, then go ahead and click on this video right here.